Hallelujah. Greetings. Hallelujah. What a joy and privilege this is to be able to come live to you all the way from Kapenguria. Today I'm on a western circuit in an incredible mission that just, you know, I was here in this part of Kenya. This is the western side of Kenya. And I bless the Lord that this is where day 30 got me. And we thank God because we cannot skip it. We have to proclaim it in Jesus name. So we start with the word of God. Let's pray. Precious Father, we ask you to open our eyes to see wonderful things out of your law. We pray that Lord you minister to us a special grace be upon us as we receive great favor from you in Jesus name. Amen. Beloved, uh, we are coming to Psalm 30, a psalm, a song for the dedication of the temple of David. I will exalt you, O Lord, for you lifted me out of the depths and did not let my enemies gloat over me. O Lord, my God, I called to you for help and you healed me. O Lord, you brought me up from the grave. You spared me from going down into the pit. Sing to the Lord, you his saints, of you saints of his, praise his holy name. For his anger lasts only a minute, but his favor lasts a lifetime. Weeping may remain for a night, but joy comes in the morning. <laughs> when I felt secure, I said, I will never be shaken. O oh Lord, when you favored me, you made my mountain stand firm. And when you hid your face, I was dismayed. Psalm 30 verse 8. To you, O oh Lord, I called. To the Lord, I cried for mercy. What gain is there in my destruction? In my going down into the pit. Will the dust praise you? Will it proclaim your faithfulness? Hear, O oh Lord. And be merciful to me, O Lord. Be my help. You've turned my wailing into dancing. You removed my sackcloth and clothed me with joy. That my heart may sing to you and not be silent. O Lord, my God, I will give thanks to you forever. Psalm 30, a wonderful, powerful psalm. For the dedication of the temple. This is a powerful movement that God is enabling us to come to as we proclaim the word of the Lord. It's a powerful movement to daily focus on God's word without missing. Just purpose irrespective of where you find yourself. You need to create time to read God's word. We come to Proverbs. Proverbs 30. More wise sayings. The sayings of Agur, son of Jaka, on an oracle, this man declared to Ethel, to Ethel and to Ukal, I am the most ignorant of men. I don't have a man's understanding. I have not learned wisdom, nor have I had knowledge of the Holy One. Who has gone up to heaven and come down? Who has gathered up the wind in the hollow of his hands? Proverbs 30 verse 4. Who has wrapped up the waters in his cloak? Who has established all the ends of the earth? What is his name and the name of his son? Tell me if you know. Every word of God is flawless. He is a shield to those who take refuge in him. Do not add to his words or he will rebuke you and prove you a liar. Two things I ask of you, O Lord. Do not refuse me when I die, before I die. Keep falsehood and lies from my from my from me give me neither poverty nor riches but give me only my daily bread otherwise i may have too much and disown you and say who is the lord or i may become poor and steal and so dishonor the name of the lord do not slander a servant to his master or he will curse you and you will pay for it they are those who curse their fathers and do not bless their mothers. Those who are pure in their own eyes and yet not cleansed of their field. 
those whose eyes are ever so haughty, whose glances are so disdainful, those whose teeth are swords, and whose jaws are set with knives. To devour the poor from the earth, the needy from among mankind. The leech has two daughters. Give, give, they cry. There are three things that are never satisfied, four that never say enough. The grave, the barren womb, land which is never satisfied with water, and fire which never says enough. The eye that mocks a father, that scorns the disobedient to a mother, will be pecked out from the, by the ravens of the valley, will be eaten by vultures. There are three things too wonderful for me. Four that I don't understand. The way of an eagle in the sky. The way of a snake on a rock. The way of a ship on the high seas. And the way of a man with a maiden. This is the way of an adulteress. She eats and wipes her mouth. And says, I have done nothing wrong. Under three things the earth trembles. Four, it cannot bear up. A servant who becomes king, a fool who is full of food, and an unloved woman who is married, and a maid servant who displaces her mistress. Let me repeat that. Under three things the earth trembles. Four, it cannot bear. A servant who becomes king, a fool who is full of food, an unloved woman who is married, and a maid servant who displaces our mistress. Four things on earth are small, yet they are extremely wise. Ants are creatures of little strength, yet they store up their food in summer. Cornies are creatures of little power, yet they make their home in the crags. Locusts have no king, yet they advance in ranks. And by the way, including buffaloes moving ranks if you do not know about buffaloes african buffaloes live alone the ones in asia that are used as cattle i'm talking about buffaloes african wild buffaloes in africa in kenya those buffaloes move in ranks as well and yet nobody watches over them so here it says locusts have no king yet they advance together in ranks a lizard can be caught with the hand, yet it is found in king's palaces. There are three things that are stately in their stride, four that move with a stately bearing. A lion, mighty among beasts, who retreats before nothing, a strutting rooster, a he-goat, and a king with his army around him. Verse 32, Proverbs 30. If you have played the fool and exalted yourself, or if you have planned evil, clap your hand over your mouth. For as churning the milk produces butter, and as twisting the nose produces blood, so stirring up anger produces strife. We come to this wonderful scripture in now. Uh, in this scripture here is the uh, the book of Revelation, by the mercies of God, we come to the book of Revelation. Revelation chapter number, we were in Revelation 7 last night, so we come to Revelation, verse number 9, no, verse number 8. Revelation 8, the seventh seal and the golden censer. When he opened the seventh seal, there was silence in heaven for about half an hour. And I saw the seven angels who stand before the God, before God, and to them were given seven trumpets. Another angel who had a golden censer came and stood at the altar. He was given much incense to offer with the prayers of all the saints on a golden altar before the throne. The smoke of the incense, together with the prayers of the saints, went up before God from the angel's hand. 
When the angel took the censer, then the angel took the censer, filled it with fire from the altar, and hurled it on the earth. And there come peals of thunder, rumblings, flashes of lightning, and an earthquake. Then the seven angels, who had seven trumpets, prepared to sound them. The first angel sounded his trumpet, and there came hail and fire mixed with blood, and it was hurled down upon the earth. A third of the earth was burned up, a third of the trees were burned up, and all the green grass was burned up. Verse number 8. The second angel sounded his trumpet, and something shoo, like a huge mountain, all ablaze, was thrown into the fire, into the sea. A third of the sea turned into blood. A third of the living creatures in the sea died. And a third of the ships were destroyed. The third angel sounded his trumpet. And a great star, blazing like a torch, fell from the sky on a third of the rivers and on the springs of water. The name of the star is Wormwood. A third of the waters turned bitter and many people died from the waters that had become bitter. The fourth angel struck his trumpet and a third of the sun was struck, a third of the moon and a third of the stars. So that a third of them turned dark, a third of the day was without light and also a third of the night. As I watched, I heard an eagle that was flying, flying in midair call out in a loud voice, Woe! Woe to the inhabitants of the earth because of the trumpet blast about to be sounded by the other three angels. Beloved, these three readings from Proverbs 30, no, yes, Proverbs 30, Psalm 30, and Revelation 8. Incredible. The title of this wonderful proclamation is receive God's favor. God's favor is incredible. In fact, it's one of the most sought after things that mankind ever desires. God's favor. That you would just have God's favor. That the Lord will grant you favor in every category. That the Lord will give you capacity to be able to pursue after him hard. Beloved, it's a delight to be able to obey the Holy Spirit and to always see his favor and his faithfulness. That this day, the 30th day of season 8 of 150 days of Psalms, I come to you live from a place called Kapenguria. Kapenguria. Right up there. on the. It's actually like the capital of... It's like the capital of... West Pocot County. It's a very, very powerful thing that the Lord has done for us today that we've been able to come to Kapenguria. On this day, we speak God's favor from Kapenguria. If you know where Kapenguria is, it's on the west side of Kenyan, uh, the Kenyan map, and we bless the Lord for it, that he, had, he has enabled me to come and proclaim God's word and to pray from the west part of this city, of this nation, in Kapenguria. Ali, I had an assignment in uh, Titale. And once I finished, it was almost 6 o'clock. And I figured it's much easier to complete the circuit by coming to Kapenguria. And we thank God for his faithfulness, just ordering our steps and enabling us to constantly walk in his ways. Well, I have to end the video now and be able to bless the name of the Lord. I encourage you, if you are watching me, you are not born again. Cross over from death to life. Again, we are recording this on Easter weekend. A time to commemorate the death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. And just like all other holidays, we get it twisted to mean it's a long holiday in or in april just like in december many people don't really understand they think christmas time is just a time for merrymaking and going everywhere 
But if all the believers would be able to use this time to advocate for the death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, would have a lot of reconciliation, a lot of healing, a lot of protection. I really thank God for um, you know what he has enabled me to achieve so far these 30 days 30 episodes by the masses of God and we continue in the journey of 150 days of Psalms now I cannot go away without leading you to Christ the word of the Lord says in the book of Psalm no Romans chapter 10 verse 9 if you confess with your mouth Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart God raised him from the dead you shall be saved so i want to lead you to christ that you may receive eternal life life from kapenguria so i want you to pray with me say lord jesus i confess with my mouth that you are lord i believe in my heart god raised you from the dead write my name in the lamb's book of life I am born again. The old is gone. The new has come. Fill me with your Holy Spirit and with your fire. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Well, beloved, we've come to the end of this wonderful broadcast. And I thank God that we've been, we've been able to do this from the mission field directly from West Pocot. And we bless the name of the Lord for helping us this far. I am Malcolm David. Thank you for watching till the end. We see you on day 31. Shalom. <laughs>